ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. For safety reasons, we recommend unplugging the battery. Use a socket wrench and a 10mm socket to unscrew the terminal from the negative terminal. In order to carry out the draining and purging on the coolant of your vehicle, we advise you to lift the front of the vehicle to carry out specific operations from under the vehicle. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. Remove the crankcase. In order to drain and change the coolant fluid on your vehicle, you will have to open the cap on the coolant fluid reservoir. Get a collection cam for the liquid to collect the coolant when it comes out. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, how to make a collector for liquids. Using adjustable pliers, remove the hose that is located under the oil filter and which is directly connected to the radiator. Be careful, when the hose comes off, you get a free shower. <laughs> Leave the liquid to flow out for a few minutes. Put the hose back in place. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe. You can now put your vehicle back on the ground. You now have to put the liquid back into the cooling circuit. In the engine compartment, start by removing the air intake duct from the airbox. To do this, insert a screwdriver into the notch located on top of the radiator, lever on the conduit and then move it. To remove it completely, use a flatted screwdriver to loosen the electrical sheath from the conduit. This will give you access to the drain plugs. You now have to put the liquid back into the cooling circuit. You can find the right fluid for your vehicle on the video description. Don't hesitate to fill it over to the maximum level. Open the air drain screw on the cooling circuit, located on the left of the battery, under the exchanger. Here's a tip. Blow into the coolant reservoir to pressurize the system. The coolant level will drop due to the pressure and fill the system. Repeat the filling and pressurizing process until the coolant flows to the drain. Close the drain screw. Remove the drain screw on the heating circuit, located under the windscreen frame. Repeat the technique of pressurizing the system, and when the fluid flows through the bleed, screw the screw back in. Replace the airbox air duct and reclip the electrical sheath. Regularly check the level of the fluid after you've used your vehicle a few times. Reconnect the battery. Operation completed. Please support us. 
subscribe and like the video that will be really cool.